when did you lock in like this after i had my first psychedelic experience mm. guys mushrooms are crazy would you recommend them yes to bro. me yes to uh, TJ? Me? <laughs> yes, bro. He's 18. He's, no, bro. That's are, crazy. Is, is, legal, that's is, he, is he of age? Can you, can you? That's reckless. Why? Isn't that like dangerous? That's mind all Recommending true. that to like millions of people online, especially like. Brother, I got a clip that went viral that had a million likes that said everybody should do mushrooms. Uh -huh. Everybody should do mushrooms. Everybody should do mushrooms. Why? I have been to the Amazon forest where there's five-year-old kids taking ayahuasca and they're local Indian kids. Like they're local Indians. They're local tribesmen chilling now would i recommend it for the entire world no you but i would said. recommend it to you guys <laughs> you just said everybody should i'll make videos where that'll go viral okay but where i'm saying take mushrooms <laughs> i'm not telling to a million people bro when i did a podcast i did a podcast recently i was talking to this girl i said take mushrooms that clip went viral i was talking to her this clip will go viral you guys take some mushrooms It'll be good for your yeah, mental Yeah, but aren't you kind of worried about the impact you're having? Because some people it's might see impact. that video. It's great impact. It's great impact. <laughs> why, do, why do you think they're so good? Try them. <laughs> I'm scared, bro. <laughs> That's why. You, you know why you fear something? What is fear? It's being scared. I don't know. What do Un you, unknown. When can you fear something? When, when you don't know what's going to happen. Exactly. The do you thing think is, I know what's going to happen. That's why I can tell you. Not as an idiot. For you to learn that I maybe know something that you don't. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's spiritual? Like, yeah. do you enter a spiritual realm when you take mushrooms? Well, what is a, what is what is what is a spiritual realm? Define just, spiritual realm. Just another realm, or do you think it's just chemicals getting released in your brain? I mean, what do you mean by a different realm? Explain. Well, here's the thing: we were talking to somebody this week, and they were a big mushroom mushroom proponent, and they were saying that. A lot of people who take mushrooms, they have a similar experience and they almost meet in like a realm. Like there's overlapping uh, experiences. Like they'll meet in like this white room. And then on Reddit, they'll be like, oh yeah, I've been to that. And there's like these beings, beings that judge you. So do you enter like a new world? Is it a portal? I mean, I think that there's different dimensions. And I think that psychedelics do tap you into different dimensions. Uh, just like this is a dimension. So I guess if you're on the same vibrational frequency as somebody else, you could potentially be in the same metaverse space. So it's not just chemicals. No, it's absolutely not. I mean, if, if you break down everything to just chemical reactions, then nothing is really real. Then your relationship with your girl isn't really real. Love isn't real. It's just chemical reactions that you're just kind of navigating life through as, as a soup of fluid that's just walking around in a, in a sack of meat. Right? That's so, a good point. So I think I think you have to be okay with the super natural, not the non-natural, the super natural experiences, because when you begin to evaluate, uh, when people receive epiphanies, like Solomon, like David, like Jacob, like Paul, like John. A lot of these guys go into transcendental states. Do they go into transcendental states with psychedelics or not? I don't know. But they go into transcendental states to have spiritual experiences. Can you have spiritual experiences through non-transcendental psychedelic experiences? Absolutely. But would you say, for example, me going into a state of meditation is a good thing or a bad thing? What would define state of meditation? me going into a deep state where I am hyper focused on my spirit as opposed to the environment and the things that are happening. You could call it a prayerful state. I like prayerful states. See? But you see, the thing is you've attributed and that, that goes back to what I'm saying, yeah, I know. right? It's these words. Yeah. It's the dogma. It's the belief system. It's the fact that I know something about meditation that you don't. Mm -hmm. And you believe that you know something about meditation that has given you the conviction and has limited your ability to do what? To experience life. And you don't have to go out and experience crap, right? That's not what I'm saying. You don't have to go out and sleep with a prostitute. You still have to have moderation and you still have to have intelligence and you still have to have wisdom and not everything is for everybody. But to neglect yourself experiences of life simply because you say, I am afraid, solve that fear with knowledge.
And if you can't find that knowledge, go to sources and people that you trust and convey with them, talk to them, dialogue with them, and then develop your own thesis. Don't just say, well, I'm not going to do this because I'm afraid, or I'm not going to do this because my mom said so. Yeah. Well, what if the, the answer isn't, I'm afraid? What if it's just, I don't care to? Then don't do it. Just like I don't care to jump from, a, from an airplane. Right. I don't care to do that, and I'm not going to do that. Am I losing an experience of life by not doing that? Yes. I'm okay with that. And just the same way with mushrooms. It's the same thing with everything else. Do you think it's at all dangerous? Yeah, I mean, everything is dangerous. Uh, one, outside of moderation. And two, is understanding that when you enter spiritual states, you need to be spiritually equipped. And most people enter spiritual states that are ulterior spiritual states, and they assume that everything that they experience in that ulterior state, because it's ulterior, is true. And the truth is, most things are false. And that goes for everything in life, even the things that you interact with in spiritual dimensions. But I feel like with mushrooms, you're almost, because you said you could enter those dimensions for in sure. other ways, through prayer, through mm -hmm. be, be meditation. But don't you think that mushrooms, you're kind of brute forcing it? Yes. So you definitely it's, it's might not code. be ready for it. Absolutely. And that's where you can get messed up. That's where, where people come out of it, different people. Yes. And, that can and be most negative. of them come out better people. But because not all. To, because, to, because to not be ready does not mean that it's not good. Most people, you weren't ready for marriage. You're never going to be ready for kids. But when it happens to you, you'll be like, mm, that's pretty good.